Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you're all keeping safe during these, um, you know, tough times. Make sure you're keeping healthy as well. Uh, I'm very, very, very excited to announce our third interview on this show, uh, which is a lovely, beautiful, gorgeous, ambitious Saheli, owner and founder of Saheli Events. Uh, she is going to be talking us through how she's getting through these COVID-19 times, what it's doing for her, for her business, um, and how she is getting through it. So really looking forward to that one. If you haven't subscribed yet, goodness, you're crazy. Welcome back to Change with Raji. This is our third interview. Um, I'm super excited about this one, I have to say. Uh, guys, if you haven't checked out Sahaley's page, it's Sahaley Event on Instagram, so please have a look at that. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, you're crazy. Make sure you do. So let's get <laughs> straight into it. Um, can I start by saying I have the pleasure of knowing you personally, Sahaley. Uh, you're a fantastic so person. So cute. Um, obviously, you you know your soul is amazing, and I think obviously we know to run a great business, you you need a great soul, and I know you put your soul and passion into everything you do. But I could ramble on about you forever. So before I do that, what I want to do is get straight into introducing you. Oh, <laughs> there we go, oh, <laughs> There we go. Cool. I got some music for you. <laughs> Thank you for thinking about me. Thank you for all these kind words. I have the pleasure of knowing you too. And also watching you grow has been so amazing. Um, but yeah, introducing myself. I, it's, it's so awkward sometimes to introduce yourself. But yeah, I'm Saheli. Um, I run a luxury wedding and event planning business um, called Saheli Events. And it's literally my baby. I've had it now for three years. Um, and honestly, I think like everyone in business, you have your own crazy adventure. So I'm constantly still learning and I have learned so much over these last few years um, to kind of make it what it is right now. And I think something that I um, truly believe in for any business is you've just, like you said, you've got to put your whole soul into it. You've got to put everything into it. You give, give, give um, before you even think about taking. So I mean, how did yeah. you get into the to the to wedding industry? I mean, firstly, I remember your birthday parties. I was every birthday <laughs> party. I was like, wow. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. So it does not surprise me that you went into events. Well, I mean, when I first saw Sailor events, I was like, of course she's an event planner. <laughs> of course, this is my, <laughs> but what, my why calling. weddings? You know. Um. So weddings. I think weddings like generally are just so fun I think growing up like I've always had a family that have had so many different types of weddings they've always been abroad they've been really like just grand affairs that are just so fun um and I used to personally I know there's some people that just can't think of anything worse than going to a wedding but I was one of those people that wanted to go to everyone's weddings I wanted to dress up I wanted to dance I wanted to be social so being <laughs> at a wedding was just like my favorite place um but growing up, I genuinely just didn't think like, I don't know, maybe wedding planners weren't as big of a thing for Asian weddings. I'm not really sure what it was, but my mindset basically was the fact that like wedding planning isn't really a real job. And people used to always say, you know, that's not like a real job. You should, you know, get a degree and do something properly. So yeah, I just thought, you know, of course, like, why would I plan events for the rest of my life? That's just that's just like, <laughs> such a fun job so um I used to just do it for fun I used to plan obviously my birthdays I used to help plan people's birthdays I used to just generally plan gatherings um when and, we were and, in um, together can I just say that you you know what was so lovely is just seeing your face when everyone was having a good time you were just excited by <laughs> that that was what it. you know you loved I could just yeah tell. <laughs> it was a huge part of it like I love just being able to do all that planning stuff and then being able to just see everyone's like reactions um so even even like in uni, you know, just working for the nightlife teams and working for like the societies, like I just loved it. So coming out of uni, um, it all kind of was a bit of a happy accident. I got a job at a venue and I just thought this was going to be like, you know, a bit of a summer job, helping plan some weddings and coordinate them at this venue. Um, and I ended up there for like just over, uh, just under two years. 
Um, and I was like, I'm going to do this forever. <laughs> so I basically, um, when I left that job, I basically took a few months to kind of figure out my plan. And um, I just took the plunge and I was like, yeah, I am actually going to plan weddings for the rest of my life. And I love it. So um, and what yeah, was the first step that you actually favorite. took then? Was it just, you know, getting straight into, um, you know, getting, how did you get your first wedding? So honestly, like, that whole like the beginning of 2017 I feel like it went like so quickly um I I'm not gonna lie I didn't write a business plan because I think I was a little bit naive at that point I just thought yeah how hard can it be um so I thought like when I was starting I wanted to focus a lot more on my branding um my so I started you know doing the website the logos all of that kind of stuff once I was ready to launch that I thought oh my god, I'm ready to launch my business. So I essentially launched it straight after making a website. And um, I just thought the best way to start like, you know, spreading the word was to go to networking events. So whilst at a networking event, um, someone I'd met happened to have um, a sister getting married. And um, oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was honestly like, massive chance. I, I don't know how like, um to put it but I just felt like it was just meant to be like we had only met for about 30 seconds um she introduced me to her sister and um her sister booked me so um it became my first client and I think once you have your first booking and you kind of overcome that first hurdle um you kind of believe in yourself a bit more like oh my god I can actually do this people trust me and you just feel much more motivated to push for new sales and getting yourself out there a bit more so um, yeah, it was it was fun. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. So I mean, obviously, with with you know COVID nineteen and everything that's going on at the moment, has that has that yeah. affected your business or your you know the way you're currently running things? Is is anything changed with it? I'm sure it must have. But if you could go into more detail for our viewers, yeah. So I mean, as you can imagine, the whole ban on the mass gatherings, let alone people just not being able to see each other has a huge impact on the business because right now is wedding season. So usually the season properly kicks off around Easter holidays. And um, we were, I mean, I'm sure you must have all heard of people getting married this year, but 2020 was like the year, you know, people liked the sound of it. People loved the whole idea of getting married at the beginning of this decade. So this was a really, really big year for weddings. Um, unfortunately um all these weddings now have had to be postponed so um in some sense we've been quite busy with that we've been having to move clients to next year to later this year um just generally being able to keep them calm and make sure that they're okay because for a lot of people this is really emotional and um you know they've spent over well, a year planning I mean, if I could this. just if I could just ask so if they didn't have a wedding planner right now how would, what would they have had to do so unfortunately they've had to obviously put in all that time themselves to contact each supplier um oh check all their venues they've had to put all that effort in themselves um and a lot of couples are quite comfortable doing it because suppliers have been really great they've been so flexible they've been trying mm -hmm. to accommodate everyone um as much as possible but i think for the couple when they're already going through that like i think to, to some extent mourning that like wedding they were meant to have yeah. um it's not really like the ideal situation to have to call like 20 different of suppliers, course. checking with different people what dates they can do, when their availability is. Um, so, I mean, essentially what we've been doing is getting availability from different venues, contacting all these suppliers and ourselves, checking who can do what date, what can um, everyone do together, and then making sure the couple just essentially get like a list back, like, okay, if you go on this date, maybe your photographer can't make it, but everyone else can. On this date, it's a Friday, but everyone can make it. So just kind of balancing those options. So they have just two, three options max to work with instead of having to do all that running around themselves. Um, so we've been quite busy with that. And as you can imagine, um, trying to keep them calm at the same time has been um, quite challenging. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Got all these crazy brides <laughs> that are like, <laughs> I know. I need to get married now before he runs you, off. <laughs> especially for these couples that have been planning for so long. Like, it, it it's sad because to a certain extent like no matter when they postpone it to it won't ever be exactly the same you know that that number of guests might change the same suppliers might have to send someone in their team you know there's just going to be so many things that could change um so you kind of you kind of understand their like maybe outbursts but um yeah it's been I think it's been quite interesting for the whole I mean industry to kind of see this 
moving forward though has it actually will it benefit your business in any way so is there a you know like a positive a silver situation lining. Um, yeah so I think just generally speaking for me like because it's wedding season and normally we wouldn't have had any time to spend on like a lot of things that you know are on our to-do list I think with a lot of businesses you just have so many things that you're like oh yeah I'll get back to it I'll do it at some point um so I've tried to just really work on those things um I've not I'm not gonna lie I've not been like massively productive every day some days are just (laughs) let me just chill out and enjoy a bank holiday weekend I won't ever get um But like I'm trying to get through that to do list. So once I do come out on the other side, um, actually my business can grow and be stronger rather than um, kind of looking back and thinking, oh, my gosh, we've lost this much money or um, we've lost this many dates that we could have had events. Um, We're trying to really turn that around so we're able to provide a better service and therefore maybe even charge a little bit more and also add other elements to our company rather than just focusing on being there on the day. Um, absolutely absolutely yeah. well I mean it's, it's a good like what you said there like chilling out a little bit I think it's important for you know all business yeah. owners that have that usually work in seven days a week most hours it's a great time for them to kind of sit back and reflect on themselves reflect on their business because if you don't have Definitely. a healthy mind you don't have a healthy business that's the way I see it's it it's so true true so, so absolutely true. and it's almost like a bit of an elastic band theory so everything you're preparing right now you know when 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 COVID lifts off it's yeah. just going to be like you know shooting forward which is fantastic so tell me a little bit about about sit back with Saheli. So that's a YouTube channel that you have. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, yeah. go and check it out. It is fantastic. I've subscribed. Her videos are brilliant. Um, but yeah, tell us a little bit more. How did you come up with, come up with sit back with Saheli? What's, what's so, the idea there? I feel like sit back with Saheli is like my, um, like, my second baby like I literally yeah. it, it was all again like a lot of the things I've been doing you're not business, even I, married yet and you got loads of babies I know <laughs> I've got so many babies um, <laughs> back with Sadie, I think kind of derived from the fact that I um I'm quite a I'm quite a Bollywood person right uh-huh. so um I used to quite love watching girl. yeah <laughs> I used to love watching loads of like um random Bollywood movies and I think that kind of comes into this whole like you know you love a bit of um these talk shows these like little chat chat shows whatever they are um so Coffee with Curran was one of these things that I used to like just really enjoy watching what Bollywood gossip was (laughs) um I happened to be in the office once and I one of the people I used to share an office with was um Babic from Sincera and he did all my filming and I was oh, kind wow. of brainstorming with him and I was like I think I'm going to make a, sh- a talk show and initially it was all like loads of different ideas and we had to kind of refine it to make sure that we're not gonna you know suddenly create something too crazy but um something for me was we all know people buy people like that's like the number one rule of sales um and I felt like with planning it's really difficult on social media to you know promote what you're actually doing the pictures you might post might be the decor but that's not something I've done um there might be the couple like there's loads of things that you can show from your event but ultimately it's difficult for people to see what actually I've done within that event to bring it together um so I felt like something that was really important for me was to show my personality because my couples can then feel like they know me and we watch so many movies and tv shows and you feel like you know that character so well um so I was like I want to make these um viewers know and understand me just through watching this show but at the same time I have so many people within the network and the industry that I get to know that I feel like don't have their face um shown just their work um so showing my like relationships with the industry is so important um and it kind of all just fell into place with a few ideas like that and we decided to do one episode a month um we did film everything all at once which was an interesting two days um but we then released um, an episode every month with two of the guests and they were both people within the industry some were like extremely well known some were quite new um and just kind of getting to know them better trying to like understand how that element of the industry works and um from from the responses we got it was so useful for the like couples getting married um they kind of used it for tips also help them choose who their suppliers were if they wanted to just get them get to know them a little bit better um and for us as well exactly what I wanted it to do in terms of people 
feeling like they know me and eventually could actually book me. Um, I do think it completely worked in that sense. So, um, yeah, it was really fun. We do want to do season two. So hopefully after lockdown, we can Oh, you that. have to. You have to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm really looking forward to watching that. But I think it's it's lovely. Like you said, it brings a personal touch to the brand, which is so important. Everyone gets yeah. to know you a bit more. And we also get to see the couples, which are really nice as well. And, and they get yeah. to talk about the experience in a lot more detail. Because as you said, something like that is difficult to physically show all the time. Um, but the, the concept is brilliant. And I think it does wonders for your brand as well. Um, yeah, but yeah, so I mean, moving forward, what what's the vision then? You know, where where are you looking to take take um, Saheli events? Global, so yeah, <laughs> global I, baby. <laughs> I literally like I'm a huge dreamer. I think to some extent it's a flaw, but I love imagining where it's going to end up. So when I think about Saheli events, I imagine this beautiful office, glass building, you know, the whole works. I want my whole team to be able to be working within this like you know, like the Suits style office, like yeah. something very Saheli, like I want um, to grow my destination wedding market. Um, and we have a lot of projects that we have under renovation right now. So um, we want to launch a software. We want to launch a school of Saheli events um, to kind of teach. We, we get a lot of people inquiring for experience. And as much as I want to give everyone experience, I just feel like it would be easier to teach it in a different way so we want to launch this Haley School of Events we have loads of products that we're working on um to launch as well so there's loads of divisions of the of the business that I'm working on at the moment so this lockdown's been great um so that I can kind of really work on those a bit more um so once we're kind of you know growing we then can grow those elements too so you know the school can maybe become something that's more regular for event schools um the destination weddings we want to be able to have a team that maybe just work on destination weddings and are able to research and travel around the around the world I suppose to getting to know different venues and suppliers um and then obviously over here like I want to be able to have such a concrete business up I mean, I'm a family girl, so I want to be able to run this while I have a family. Um, so I want my team to grow, obviously, so that I can enjoy family time and my real babies one day um, while yeah. the weddings and stuff can kind of continue as normal. So we have loads of plans in place, um, step by step. I'm not sure when all of this will kind of come into fruition, but we're getting there. Well, everything so, happens um, at yeah. the right time, you know, that's, that's exactly. what I say. Exactly. For sure. Um, for sure. So, I mean, one one question as well. What what does what does change actually mean to you? I actually used to be really scared of change. I was one of those people. Like, I once I was happy in my comfort zone, I I didn't like change. Whether it was like with a friendship group, whether it was like a relocation, I wasn't good with adjusting initially. This is like a while ago, but now I think um, I think change is good. I think. Too much change, especially when it comes to business, um, can be quite confusing. I think when it comes to your business, especially, you need to have really clear morals and ethos. And I think as long as that doesn't change, the way you kind of operate, the, the way that you try different things, I think those things are OK because you only learn everything through trial and error um there's so many well, mistakes that we've made in the business i know where i'm coming to when i get married <laughs> <laughs> if you. i get I married so. you, <laughs> you see all so these well. events that you're planned to hayley take a look at the guys you know <laughs> let me know <laughs> i'll be scanning but, but worst case we can still throw a lot of parties either way Okay, fantastic. Well, guys, you know, to all the viewers out there, obviously, you know, Saheli, especially, you know, being a woman in business, she's an inspiration to me. She's an inspiration to a lot of people. So her cute. business is growing and growing and growing. And like I said, if you haven't followed her page, check it out on Instagram at Saheli Events. Uh, follow her YouTube channel, Sit Back with Saheli. We're looking forward to season <laughs> two. Um, but a massive, massive thank you, Saheli, for taking the time, uh, you know, for doing this interview. And can I say you look thank beautiful, you for by having the way? Me. <laughs> you look beautiful. Beautiful, and I'm oh, so excited to you. see it come together. Thank you again for having me, and thank you for doing no this. Worries. I think that, like, just a massive Raji appreciation for putting this together, oh, especially so right, quickly during <laughs> lockdown. Um, that's inspirational for sure. Um, so, yeah, and yeah, you. guys, also please subscribe to the channel if you liked what you saw yes, today. Subscribe. Check out our Instagram page, change underscore with underscore Raji, um, and we look forward to seeing you soon again. 
just as a little extra, please uh, go and check out our website, changebranding.uk. Obviously, we are here to help your new businesses get off the ground um, in any possible way that we can, whether that's website design, whether that's video creation, whether that's ideas, or even if you just want to have a chat with us, we'd be more than happy to do that because we want, we're just as excited as you are. Um, and we'd love to be a part of that journey. So do check out our website or do get in touch with us, whether that be through our Instagram page, change underscore with underscore Raji, um, or through, you know, our LinkedIn account, again, change with Raji. So yeah, thank you again, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Looking back, looking forward to seeing you again. <laughs> Please head up, head out, and check to what check out. Subscribe. Looking back, looking forward to see. Or you can even give us a ring. Uh, no, I go. We'll cut this bit out. <laughs>